You don't have to be a professional designer to create like one. I'm Veronica Spriggs and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create your own beautiful elements with realistic bevels just like the one shown here. This technique is pretty simple and straightforward. Here's what you'll need for this tutorial. A digital scrapbook paper, a custom shape, and the You've Got Styles layer style provided with this tutorial. And that's it, so let's get started. We'll be creating the floral shaped element with this adorable beveled edge. So open up your scrapbook paper. Once you've opened your paper, you'll want to duplicate your image, close the original, and then it's a good idea to resize the paper to fit the element you wish to create. This will give it more texture. In my case, I've resized my paper to 600 by 600 pixels. Next, we're going to create a shape using Photoshop's Custom Shape tool. Optionally, you may use a PNG file if you have a shape that you'd already like to use to create your element. To create your shape, go to your Tools panel and go all the way down to the Custom Shape tool and you'll go to Shape. Now here you'll see a rectangle. What you'll want to do is either click and hold on the little tiny triangle on the bottom right corner or you can right click and then go all the way down until you see Custom Shape Tool. Click on that. Next you'll want to come up to your Options panel and be certain that Fill Pixels is selected. It's the third icon in this little grouping of tool options and it's right next to the pen tool. So click on that to make sure Fill Pixels is selected. Then you'll want to come over and make sure Custom Shape Tool is selected. And here you will click on the downward facing arrow to open up your option panel for your Custom Shape Tools. Here is where you would go to load your Shape Tools if you don't have any loaded. Then you would just go to Load Shapes and then load the custom shape that you wish to work with. Okay, so in this case I am going to be using this little cutout floral shape. So I'll just click on it to select it. Now you'll want to come to your Layers panel, click on the dog-eared tab right next to the trash can to create a new layer, and then Holding down the shift key so that we can create a proportionate shape, I'm going to click in the top left corner and then just drag my shape tool all the way down and virtually fill the page with this shape. Now you can see I have my shape created on a new layer. Next, you'll want to click on your layer and drag it down beneath your paper layer. Next, click on your paper layer to activate it, hover over the layer's name, right click, and choose Create Clipping Mask. Next, we'll want to come back to our shape layer, holding down the control key, and click directly on the center to create a floating selection of your shape layer. Next, We'll do Control J to create a new shape layer out of our paper layer. Now it's time to add your bevel. To work with your layer styles, you'll want to make sure that your styles panel is open. So to do that, you'll go to Window and then make sure Styles is checked and you will be able to see that panel open. Okay, so now we're going to go to the folder called Tutorial Bevel and inside you will see the file called VJS Tutorial Bevel ASL. This is your layer style file. You'll want to double click and now you can see that I have this file open in my styles panel. To add the bevel effect to my element I'll just click on the style And here you can see that my beveled edge has been applied. 
But I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to customize this for a more unique look. So what I'll do is double click on the FX icon right here on my layer. And here in my styles option panel, I will click on bevel and emboss and come down to where it says shading. Here you can see that the screen is set to 100%. I'm going to lower this until I get a more natural looking effect. Now with the high shine, it gives me a more metallic effect. I want to make this look more like a chiseled or chipped cardboard. So I'm going to lower the opacity down to about 30%. And here where it says linear burn, you can bring this down as well. You can even change the color if you like. If you want this to match a little bit more, just come over here, double click, and then click here on your colors. I would bring this down just a, a hair darker. And now you can see that you have a really nice effect. And I may want to bring that up a little bit more. And I'm going to leave that just like that at about 30%. I'm happy with my changes, so I'll click OK to apply the effect. And now with those bevels applied, I'm going to go ahead and go up to my layers opacity and lower it down until I get my desired results. And actually, I'm happy with it right at 100%, so I'll leave it there. Now another option that you have is to go over here to the little tiny arrow all the way to the edge and right click and choose scale effects. Now here you'll be able to apply an infinite amount of effects to your layer styles simply by raising the scale percentage. And you can see how that changes as I go up or by lowering your scale percentage. So be sure to play with these options to get your desired effect and create tons of unique looks from just one layer style. And I'm happy with that, so I will say OK. And once you have your desired effects, you'll want to do Control, Shift, and E to merge all layers into one. And now you can see here that I have one single layer. And now I'll drag this onto my original document. And you can see the gorgeous bevel that I've created. I'm going to add a drop shadow. and resize this down a little bit just to give it some more dimension. And that's it. That's how you create your own beveled edges. Layer styles are super handy for creating all types of wonderful effects. If you'd like to give this a try in your digital scrapbooking, be sure to stop by my store and search You've Got Styles to view all of my layer styles. I'm Veronica Spriggs. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, remember, share, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Mama.